Hi, we are here to talk about analytics as a career. As we all know that over the last couple of years, we've started hearing about analytics quite a lot. In fact, we can say that it's one of the latest career alternatives available to people. What is analytics? Every enterprise invests in systems to gather data. There is, in fact, every enterprise has multiple systems where data gets captured nowadays. You have ERP systems, CRM system. Now you have internet based systems, digital marketing systems, customer service systems. So there are multiple systems where data gets generated and then people look at data, retrieve that data for better access to business information. This was a standard practice. It was often called business intelligence. Analytics is a step beyond that. It is an amalgamation of business understanding, statistical techniques and application of these statistical techniques through certain specialized softwares. on the data that the enterprise has and what do we aim to achieve with this? We aim to be able to make better business decisions, come to better strategies for growing our business and tactics which can help our business take the next big step, the next big leap in terms of profitability. Because let's face it, we are all here as a business to make profits. So what would an analytics team do? An analytics team would start work after the data warehousing team. The data warehousing team would invariably get the enterprise data together in something called an enterprise wide data warehouse. The analytics team would have access to this data warehouse and it would be able to do extraction, transformation and loading of this data into analytics systems. What are analytics systems? These are servers which are specifically dedicated to analytics. Why are we talking about extraction, transformation and loading again? Because the data which exists in the enterprise wide data warehouse would need to be worked on a bit more to make it analytics friendly. Analytics is different from operational reporting, operational mathematics because it looks at data at certain time frames. And that is why when we talk about business decisions, we are talking about strategy and tactics. Strategy and tactics do not change every day. All right. So finally, an analyst would work on the data present in the organization. However, all the data may not be conducive to analytics because perhaps the process is new. The data maturity is not high enough. The data quality is not good enough. Finally, an analyst has to be a good communicator because you have to communicate actionable insights to the business. I hope you found this session enlightening. Do you have more questions? Please feel free to reach out to me on my mail ID. Do you want to know more about me? Check out my LinkedIn profile.